Once again, I want to say thank you to everybody who showed up to the live stream today. Whether or not you participated in the chat or not, thank you for showing up and really getting a better understanding of what we're doing with AMC stock. All right, now look, following the earnings release yesterday, yes, Adam Aaron sounded like a saint, man. He sounded like AMC is one of the greatest companies out there and we are really moving towards a fantastic future. And all of the articles that proceeded from that, everything we're reading today it is pitting Wall Street against the retail investors. It's saying that Wall Street does not recommend buying AMC stock, but all of these retail investors are out there investing in AMC stock. Now look, in this video, we're going we're gonna to touch a little bit on these Wall Street articles and on these analysts' kind of price targets, what they've got and what their expectations are for AMC because look, guys, I don't think that Wall Street is wrong. I don't think that these analysts are wrong. I do believe that, you know, these price estimates they have can be correct based on fundamentals currently for AMC. But that's not why I bought AMC stock. I hope that's not, not why you bought AMC stock. I hope that you bought AMC to see a short squeeze. So if all of this sounds like something you're interested in, let's get started. What's up, everybody? I'm Clay. I'm here to make 2021 the best year ever. If you haven't clicked that subscribe button yet, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Join us. Become a bro. We are here every single day, and we're growing our portfolios together. All right, now look, I, after all the, the Redditors that, for some reason, don't like me, I've already left this video. I know. Let's get into the, the nitty-gritty here. Let's talk about what these analysts are saying, and if it scared you in the intro that I said these analysts might be right, look... They're based on fundamentals. We know that AMC does not have a good balance sheet right now. We know that. Don't be scared when analysts are telling you that it's not a good investment based on current fundamentals. All right, so let's just read through this and let's kind of talk about these concerns and hopefully, you know, subside some of these concerns that people might have seeing these horrible price ex expectations and price targets from Wall Street analysts. So I'm reading from CNBC, <laughs> love it or hate it, right? And it says, Wall Street, what Wall Street sees. At present, the average price for those that cover the industry is $4.44 for AMC stock. Terrible, right? Now that's according to FactSet. And then of course, we've got some other analysts that are putting price targets at a dollar. And we all know that one guy that put his price target at a penny. I think they're just crying for attention. But look, this target is based on an analysis of the company's capital structure which is terrible. AMC is very, very debt heavy. It was the only way that they could survive the pandemic. We know this, right? It was a crucial decision that Adam Aaron had to make. Do you file bankruptcy or do you take on a very heavy debt burden and keep that company moving? They chose the debt. So it's va and the structure is significant debt load of more than $5 billion, and it also has over $450 million in deferred rent payments. All right, we know, we know that the fundamentals are not there at the moment, all right? Revenue is down, super debt heavy, you know, bad news when it comes to that. We understand this. And then it goes on to say that, you know, they'd have to beat expectations for their 2022 mark by 60% in order to justify the current price target. And now I want to read one more before we really get into what's going on here and talk about this. And it says, Rise of the Apes. We expect continued volatility in shares of AMC as well as trading momentum unrelated to AMC's fundamentals. Clearly, right? That's why everybody is trading AMC stock right now. That's why you have 3.2 million individual investors out there. We're not trading AMC's fundamentals. We're trading the short squeeze. We're buying AMC stock because we want to bleed the hedge funds. We know that they've shorted this company. And whether you believe in all of the phantom shares or whether you believe the reported shares, the short interest is there, right? The short sellers have to cover these shares. Just to read on real quick. Uh, momentum unrelated to AMC's fundamentals, this analyst reported, as such, we do not recommend buying shares of AMC. This analyst told CNBC that the meme stock frenzy, even if well-intentioned, showcases a lack of knowledge of how financial markets work. Now, this is what we're going to address here. The investing, they say, is based on emotions. 
So just that last sentence there, just that last little paragraph, the investing is based on emotions. Uh, no, let's just parse this. I am not investing in AMC. Okay. I hope that you are not investing in AMC. I hope that you are trading AMC stock as I am to see a short squeeze, because let's just look at the outcome here. If you're investing in AMC, Current fundamentals do show that the price is inflated right now. All right. But if you're investing in AMC, what can you hope for? You can hope that they recover through the pandemic. Absolutely. They're very likely to do so. And then beyond that, what are we looking at? A 20 to $30 price target if you're investing in AMC. Great. You can still make money, right? 20 to $30 price target. You're more than doubling and tripling your money from today's price action. That's great. You know, that, that's a great investment. It really is. Doubling your money in any period of time is a good investment. But we're not investing in AMC. We're, we're looking for that short squeeze. We're waiting for the hedge funds to pay us back the shares that they owe us. It's as simple as that. It's not an investment. It's a purchase. We purchase AMC stock now knowing that it has to be bought back later at any price that we hold out for, at any price that we can co collectively hold out for is what they owe us, right? Now, that, go ahead with that mindset. Move forward with that mindset that you're not investing in AMC. You're, if you want to use the term investing in a short squeeze, perfect. You are trading AMC stock for a short squeeze. So although their reporter is, you know, kind of right, it's wrong. I don't think anybody is investing in AMC for the long run. We are buying the short squeeze. And what else did they say there? <laughs> it showcases a lack of knowledge about how financial markets work. Uh, it, no, I guys, I completely disagree with that statement. I don't think anybody here thinks that that's how financial markets work, that you can only buy a stock based on its fundamentals. Sure, if you're looking for long-term gains, steady gains, buy the fundamentals of the company. Warren Buffett has done very well investing and using that strategy. Buy the fundamentals. The stock price moves because of the fundamentals. But at its core, the stock price moves. You can have... <laughs> Look at this. Use this as an example if you want to say that we don't know how financial markets work. You can have an excellent earnings beat. You can have an excellent, fundamentally sound company, but nobody wants to buy into it. All right? And then their stock price goes down. So stocks trade at prices detached from fundamentals all of the time. Stocks trade because of supply and demand. Right now, there is a very high demand for AMC stock. So yes, it is going to trade detached from fundamentals, but it's trading detached from fundamentals because we know that the hedge funds have to buy these shares back. And it's, it's funny to me because I know that the Wall Street analysts understand this. I know that these financial reporters understand this. Guys, I see you guys bashing them all day long on Reddit, on Twitter, everywhere. I, I see the bashing there. But these are intelligent people that we're up against, right? These are intelligent people that are making these price expectations and intelligent people writing these articles. Now, whether or, na whether or not they have some sort of agenda that's to drive the stock price lower, whether or not, you know, institutions are getting involved and, and paying people to spread fear or anything like that it is a completely different conspiracy. But... This is not a fundamental trade. AMC stock, Adam Aaron did an excellent job yesterday of making everybody well aware that AMC is around for the long term. AMC is doing everything that it can to survive and that it will win this battle and it will, it, you know, it's going to rise from the ashes as the phoenix that everybody thought was down for the count, right? Excellent. Excellent. I believe that Adam Aaron can get this company through the pandemic. But I want to know right now, don't take this the wrong way. I can buy shares of AMC after the squeeze, but I am trading the short squeeze. I want to see AMC stock price completely detached from fundamentals and go as absolutely high as possible. I'm not investing in fundamentals for a $20 stock price. And I hope that you aren't either. 
I want to see AMC destroy the hedge funds in a way that will deter future generations from ever invest from ever investing from ever shorting like they did with AMC stock. They have messed with us for the last time. And look, one last thought on this whole thing. They say that investors are investing in retail traders. They don't even call us investors, right? Retail traders are investing based on emotion. Here's my thought on that. If you're still here, thank you very much. I know it's been 10 minutes, but look, here's my thought on that. If you're investing based on hope, which I know a lot of people out there are, you're hoping for a better future. You're hoping for a stock price that can really set you up financially. Don't, don't place this trade based on hope. Place this trade based on the knowledge of, of knowing what a short squeeze is, of knowing that these hedge funds have to cover their short positions. Yes, hope can come from that, but don't base your trade based on that hope, all right? Buy AMC stock because you know that the short squeeze can take place, not because you're hoping to change your life or to change your future or, or to reach some price that you saw some guy on Reddit say. Understand what a short squeeze is and place your trade based on that. Therefore, it's not on emotion. It's for what you believe in. It's for your knowledge. And it's for the, the research that you've done. It's not an emotional trade at that point. It, it's a technical trade. It's a speculative trade, yes, but it is a trade, not an emotion. So guys, let us know down in the comments below what you think about AMC stock. Always buy back. Let us know if you're going to buy back in after the squeeze happens. If you believe in AMC stock long term, you can always buy back in after the squeeze happens. But please do not ride this up to a thousand, you know, ten thousand, whatever you guys believe that the stock price is going to go up to. Don't ride it up and then ride it all the way back down. Take your profits at the top. Take your profits at as much money as possible. So let us know down there, guys. If you're brand new to investing, use the link in the description below for Weeble. It is super simple to set up that account, deposit $100. You know, you're going to get some free stocks, sell those free stocks, buy AMC, you're in the movement, and you don't have any money out of pocket. If you're here and you're 12 minutes in, subscribe to the channel, join us, become a bro. We are here every single day, and we're growing our portfolios together. Share the video, tag me somewhere at Claybro or Claybro883. Invite somebody to the next live stream. We usually do them Monday to Friday around 3.30 to 5 p.m. Eastern time. It's a great time, and I hope to see every single one of you there. Now, until the next time, I hope that each and every one of you have an awesome day.